see you guys in person at church this week and we thank you so much uh, for coming and joining and being part of the family and um, again we hope that you've really been enjoying these videos that you can watch throughout the week uh, and this week's video is uh, a really great one because it's about Jesus and some children and so in today's video we get to see that Jesus really cared about the little kids um, which is you guys um, and so if you ever feel like as a child you're overlooked or you're rejected or Maybe adults don't really listen to you as much as, as much as you'd like. Well, Jesus shows us in the story today uh, that he really cares about children. And so why don't you pray with me before we watch this wonderful video by Quizworks. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for um, all the wonderful ways that um, you show your love for us. Thank you that we know and see in your word that you care about children, Lord, that you know that they are precious. Um, and that um, they're part of your kingdom. And, and so we pray and ask, Lord, that if there's any children that are feeling uh, sad or rejected, Lord, that you help them see just how much they are loved. And we thank you so much for Jesus, and we pray this all in his mighty name. Amen. <laughs> Hi everyone, my name is Jordan, and today- Oh, I'll show him! Uh, How rude! I mean, man, I can't believe it! Digby? What? Oh, oh, hi Jordan! <laughs> hi Digby! Everyone, this is my friend Digby. Oh, hi everyone! Uh, Digby, Wait. what's going on? Well, I'll show you! See, here, okay. take this! <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm this! It. Hang on! Digby! Digby, hey. I can't- This! <laughs> Dig Digby, what is going on? Well, I did. I'll tell you later. <laughs> Okay. Anyway, today we're going to be hearing a true story from the Bible about a time when Jesus met some kids. But first, let's meet a person called Radiga. This is Radiga, and Radiga was just an ordinary kid. He loved to play games with his friends, and he loved to do arts and crafts with his friends, and he also loved to play quieter games with his friends. Hey, let's play quieter games now. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Nah, let's make some noise! <laughs> <laughs> Rudiger also loved his mum and dad. I love you, dad. I love you, mum. Uh, we love you too, too Rudiger. <laughs> but when Rudiger's parents had friends over, Rudiger was always told to play oh, yeah. quietly. Rudiger? Huh? It's time to play quietly now. Oh, Dad, come on, I want to play with uh, my... Uh, uh, no buts, or you'll go to your room. Oh. And when Rudiger's parents were talking to their friends, Rudiger was always told to not interrupt. Oh, Mum, Mum, I want to show you something! Rudiger, not now, I'm talking. But, but Mum, Mum, I want to show you this, no, look, Rudiger, look! Rudiger, quiet. Rudiger was to be seen <laughs> and not heard. Rudiger was just an ordinary kid. The end. I'm sure most of you feel like Rudiger, at least some of the time. And there are some really great things about being a kid, but often you might feel like you're overlooked. Well, today we're going to hear about a time that Jesus meets some ordinary, run of the mill kids. All oh, right, here. Um, I take, uh, take this. Did uh, we? I, 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 oh, I take that. Oh, and what? you can put that with the rest of my stuff. But Digby, this is fairy bread. Well, yeah, I know. But you love fairy bread. Well, I did love fairy bread, but not anymore. Well, what happened? Why not? Well, I'll tell you why not. Because the creator of fairy bread rejected me. Oh, oh no. What happened? Well, this morning I was down at the shops and then I saw him. Him? Well, yeah, the creator of Fairy Bread. Oh, okay. And so I went up to him and I was like, hello, Mr. Creator of Fairy Bread, sir. I, I was really, really nervous. But then well, he just cut me off and he said, clear off, kid. I'm really busy. I don't have time for your silly games. Oh, he rejected me. Oh, Digby, I'm sorry. <laughs> And so because he rejected me for not being important enough, I'm going to reject him. I'm getting rid of all my fairy bread. But yeah. Digby, Digby. Oh, dear. It's not nice being rejected. 
And some people might think that that's how someone as important as Jesus might treat kids. But we're going to watch a story now based on a true account that you can read in a book called Mark in chapter 10 of what happened when Jesus met some kids. Let's watch. Dad, do you think he will? Do you think he'll let us see him? Oh, I hope so, Dad. We'll just have to wait and see, Timmy. We'll just have to wait and see. Timmy had been looking forward to today for such a long time. And now, here he was, on his dad's shoulders, making his way towards the place where Jesus was staying. Dad, I hope there aren't too many people there. Do you think there'll be too many people there, Dad? We'll just have to wait and see, Timmy. We'll just have to wait and see. But when they finally arrived, Timmy saw people everywhere. Timmy's heart sank. Now he was afraid he may never see Jesus. He was just one little boy. But just then... Look, Dad, there's Miriam and Ben. Can I go and play, please? Okay, just make sure you don't go too far. And if you hear or see anything coming from the house... I'll come back straight away. I don't want to miss out on seeing Jesus. And with that, Timmy slid down his dad's back. But before he ran to see his friends... Do you think he'll let me talk to him, Dad? I mean, I'm just one boy. We'll just have to wait and see, Timmy. We'll just have to wait and see. So Timmy ran off to play with his friends. 27, 28, 29, 30, ready or not, here I... Timmy stopped counting while Ruth called out. Look, the door's opening. And like a flash, Timmy and his friends ran back to the house. Dad, I can't see. Dad, I can't see. Timmy's dad put Timmy on his shoulders as they strained to see. Then... Look, someone's coming. Someone's coming. Is that him, Dad? Is that him? Is it the one in the middle, Jesus? Three men came out of the house and they did not look happy. The one in the middle with an angry, gruff voice yelled. What do you people want? Timmy held onto his dad a little bit tighter. He was scared of this angry man. One of the mums standing near the door called out. Um, we've just come to see Jesus and see if he'll, um, bless our kids. Timmy saw the three men at the door look at each other and shake their heads. The one in the middle, in his angry, gruff voice yelled, Don't you people realise Jesus is an important guy? He can't just drop everything for your little kids. Now go clear off. Timmy whispered in a frightened voice to his dad. Dad, can we go home now? Jesus doesn't want to see me. He's too important. Just then, a voice called out. Look, someone else is coming out. And as Timmy looked through his squinted eyes, he saw a man who didn't look angry. Ah, I think it's Jesus. Timmy saw Jesus look at the three angry disciples and command them, Let the children come to me. And before the disciples could argue, Jesus again called out, Let the children come to me and do not hinder them. As Jesus said this, he got down on his knees and held out his arms to a little girl who was standing, crying next to her mum. As Timmy looked, he saw that that little girl was his friend. Hi, Miriam. Miriam wasn't sure what to do. The three scary men were still standing there, but as Timmy watched, she slowly made her way towards Jesus. As she got to him, Jesus put his arms on her very gently and whispered something to her that made her smile. Again, Jesus called out, Let the children come to me. Timmy had seen enough. He jumped down from his dad's shoulders, grabbed Ruth's hand and ran through the crowds towards Jesus. Other kids were heading towards Jesus as well. They could all see that Jesus did care for kids, that he did want them to come and be with him. Soon, Timmy was one of a big crowd of children all around Jesus. Jesus was putting his hands on each one, saying special words to them all. Jesus made each child feel special. There he was, standing with Jesus, 
talking to him. Jesus wasn't too busy for Timmy. While Jesus was blessing each child, he called out in a loud voice, The kingdom of God belongs to people like these kids. When Timmy heard this, he was thrilled. People like him could be part of God's kingdom. Kids like him who trusted Jesus could be part of God's family. On the way home, Timmy whispered to his dad, Dad, I'm glad we came. Jesus wants me to be part of his kingdom. I know, Timmy. I know. The end. Hey, that was cool. It was. Yeah, but, well, you know, it made me even more upset. What? Well, Why? Because Jesus didn't think he was too important. He still cared for those stinky, smelly kids. Oh, hang on, Dick. You can't go calling kids stinky and smelly. Well, but some of them are. Well, okay, but... Well, but the maker of fairy bread, well, he wasn't like that at all. He still rejected me. Oh, uh, yes, the, the maker <laughs> of fairy bread. Digby, look, I was wondering, how exactly did you know that it was the maker and creator of fairy bread? Oh, oh, well, that was easy. He was pushing a shopping trolley full of bread. He was pushing a shopping trolley full of bread. Well, yeah, he was pushing it from the storeroom to the bakery, which is where they make the fairy bread. Uh, Digby, I don't think you were rejected by the maker and creator of fairy bread. Well, of course I was. He was pushing the trolley. I just said. Yeah, 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 but Digby, I think he may have just been someone who worked at the store who was pushing the bread to the shelves to stack them so they can be sold. What? Wait, really? Really. What? Wait, so I didn't get rejected by... Your maker of fairy bread? I don't think so, no. Wait, that means I can eat fairy bread again! <laughs> what, quick, give me my fairy bread! Oh, okay, okay, hang on, oh, let me just boy, get this fairy this bread so for you. This is so exciting! I'm bringing it in! Oh, 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 yummy! Oh, okay, boy. there we go. Ow, my head! head. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so good! Oh, and I'm gonna have to go get the other fairy bread the that other... I put in the bin what? and in the toilet! What? No, 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 Bombed Digby. away! No. Whoa. Oh, oh, Digby. Well, today we've seen from the Bible that Jesus wants kids like you to come to him. And when kids do come to Jesus and trust him, well, he says that they can be part of God's kingdom too. And to help you think more about that, we have some discussion questions and activity ideas and game and craft ideas that you can check out at www.quizworks.com forward slash home delivery. And you can also talk to people you know, whether they're kids or not, who already trust Jesus. And you can ask them what difference trusting Jesus makes for them. Now, I better stop Digby from eating all that fairy bread. <laughs> See you next time.